74 years ago, hundreds of Caribbean migrants climbed aboard the Empire Windrush, ready to start their new lives in Britain. It was just after the Second World War and the country needed help. So people like Alfred, who had already served in the RAF, took up their invitations. I was here before, I went home and I, first thing I said to Mama when I went home, I'm going back. Without um, any hesitation, I told her I was going back. And I had my reasons to come back. And here I am still here, enjoying it. To mark this year's Windrush Day, he joined this tour, returning to where it all began. Here at Tilbury Docks is where the Empire Windrush first arrived 74 years ago today. Aboard were hundreds of migrants from across the Caribbean who'd left friends, families and their homes behind to come and help rebuild Britain. But even though it was in July, it was cold, it was windy and it was very different from what most of them had been used to. But even though they were invited, when they arrived, they weren't welcomed like this. Many experienced racism, discrimination and 70 years later, deportations. This is not for black people only. It is for the whole of Britain to understand, to learn something of the history of why we are here, how we came to be here. Today, a brand new statue was unveiled at Waterloo Station. People like Baroness Benjamin, who arrived in London from Trinidad in 1960. 4,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean. We landed at Southampton Docks, and we got onto that train from Southampton to Waterloo Station. And there I am, standing on platform 19, Waterloo Station, very close to here, with my suitcase, with my grip. So this, this monument represents my story. A story not just of that generation, but for the direct descendants of all of those who settled, raised families and redefined what it meant to be British. Shimon Freeman-Powell, Sky News.